hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be talking and giving you a little bit of a review of the Jerome Alexander um, magic foundation it's supposed to be an air cushion foundation so if you like to see it please keep watching okay guys so I'm here today and I'm gonna be doing a product review on this as seen on TV magic minerals air cushion it's a skincare makeup foundation by Jerome Alexander um, it says it's a liquid mineral foundation so I show you this on my video of what I got for Christmas so what it brings it is a primer a beauty blender I guess this is a foundation inside and then behind this has like a little puff now, it's a multitasking formula is infused with the Jerome Alexander skincare makeup pinnacle level blend of skincare activities that gives skin a boost of intense hydration reduces lines and wrinkles and brightens the appearance of the skin so it says it's a lightweight hydrating formula a natural matte finish that glides easily and comfortably beautiful buildable flawless long wear coverage um, no leaks, no spills, refresh and hydrates with our blend of clinical level ingredients. So I got this as a gift. So I was really intrigued to try it because I've never seen their commercial. Neither have I heard of this product. So I really want to try it. So we're going to open the product to see how it is. Okay, so before this video I apply moisturizer on. And I didn't apply any primer yet because I wanted to try the primer that it came with the package. So this is how the compact looks. It's nice, it's really pretty um, gold compact. It's like a button, it has a mirror. Um, and then I guess you open it like that and here is the foundation. Let's see. Guys, this foundation is like a little cushion. Like it's so soft and once you like touch it, like there's like a little bit of foundation. It's kind of glittery. And it smells like a little bit of fragrance. So, let's see. And then this is a primer that it comes with. It's 0.17 fluid ounces. And this is like the tiny puff that it comes with. This side is like really nice and silky. And then this is with the name of the company and like this little beauty blender of theirs so I guess we're gonna have to put a little bit of primer no I think I put too much but it is what it is so we're gonna smear it it doesn't smell like anything I guess we're gonna smear it on our face. Okay. Right, let's start applying the foundation. So I guess. So I guess we're gonna, I guess, with the beauty blender, push in, um, oh my god, look guys, how much foundation squeeze out of here, okay? So, like I said before, it smells like really fragrancy, is that even a word? Fragrance, smell like fragrance. Um, let's see. Like, I don't even know if this is like a one all color, like, is this too light for me? Like, I don't know. Because the box doesn't even say if it's a color or not. It doesn't even say. so wet like the sponge like it once you squeeze it 
it comes out a lot of um, products. And guys, I didn't even set the beauty blender with no setting spray like I usually do. And there's no really need to because the foundation is so like creamy and so wet that there's no need to wet your sponge. Surprisingly, I think this is my color. I'm gonna go and see if I can like pat on the foundation with this. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, just finished my face off camera. That way the video wouldn't be that long. So I'm gonna give you my likes and dislikes about this product. So my first like is the packaging is really cute. That's one of the things I love. Package, packaging to me is everything. Like if the product doesn't look pretty at all, I'm not gonna buy it. Um, I was very surprised about the foundation itself, the way that you just touch a little bit and all the foundation just comes out and it's very creamy. What I do like about this foundation, it gives you a dewy effect. I don't know why the box said matte because it doesn't give you a matte finish whatsoever, at least on my skin, but it does give you a dewy effect, which I like. It gives you like a natural glow. How um, Another thing is the color. I'm not sure about the color. Um, yet, yeah. however, the color seems to match my skin perfectly. Um, that's another like that I like. Um, the thing that I like was the primer. The primer was really soft on the skin. It didn't have any smell. It was really nice and smooth. Um, my dislikes. The first thing I didn't like was the beauty blender because I felt like the beauty blender was so small for this type of foundation since it's so creamy it absorbs a lot on the beauty blender itself another thing that I felt about this foundation once I finished it on my I finished it um, I felt like it was a little bit sticky and when I touched my face I see the foundation on my finger which it doesn't really make sense for it to be a foundation when it's supposed to stay on your face and on your hands so that's one of the dislikes. The little puff, I really feel like it didn't really help whatsoever once I finished with the beauty blend and I try to go back in and see. If I miss any spots, it absorbed as well all the foundation. But overall, the foundation, the packaging, the foundation itself was really nice and it had a nice fragrance smell. However, I personally don't recommend this foundation especially if you're living in a um, warm state where you're gonna be sweating a lot this is not gonna be really good for you because it's just gonna come off right away now if you live like in a cold area will it um stay out stay on the whole day maybe i don't know like i said this is the first time i'm trying it so i'm not sure so maybe I will do like a, a new video and I'll let you know in my next video. Hey guys, that's it for my video. I, got, I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, bye.